How's it going everyone? Andrew Robinson here. I'm back at it with a new instrument performance piece all centered around this here guitar. The idea is we're going to detect the pitch of the note I am playing. The onset of playing the note is going to trigger a sample and then we're going to pitch bend that sample to match the pitch of the note played on the guitar. To do this, we're gonna use Max MSP, which is a programming language for real-time music and visual software. The very first thing we're gonna look at in Max MSP is actually this retune object right here. With these attributes turned on, it already is doing really fast and accurate pitch detection. The next thing I had to figure out was how to load in a bunch of different samples. So for Max, that's the poly buffer object. And then down here, we can use the groove with a reference name to the buffer to play back those samples. And every time we click this button, we're going to get a new sound sample. <laughs> the next big step after getting the samples to load in was getting them to trigger when I play the note, and then also doing the pitch bending of the sample to the pitch played on the guitar. Thankfully, Retune works both ways, and not only can it detect pitch, but it can retune sound to certain pitches. And right now, this is how it sounds. It's not perfect, but uh, it's getting a lot better. That's the important part. We're slowly getting better. Like, that's pretty fun. And it seems to be, you know, doing a good job of pitch bending the samples to the pitch of the note I'm playing. So the next couple steps that we need to do is just kind of clean up the sound and the signal. Uh, you know, that means removing like frequencies, those crunchy samples, um, making it really a lot more aesthetic and pretty and not just so dry like that and that's it. And just do that forever until I play the next note. We gotta clean those kinds of things up. And I have changed a lot in those last few seconds. It's all drowned in reverb now, which makes it sound really, really pretty. And it's all layered very nicely. And at this point, I really, really like where this is at now. Like, it sounds kind of pretty cool. Let's just like, let's just give it a listen, shall we? next thing to try now I think would be to just test a bunch of different samples and see how they sound and play with those and see what I like. Uh, thankfully Adobe Audition has a bunch of free sample packs uh, that we can download and use um, that I think will be perfect because there's a ton of sounds in here. This is now the end of the video. Uh, I could probably tweak the sound design aspect of this project forever, and I probably will. But for now, I'm gonna say the project is finished because everything sounds really good to me. It's fun to play. I hope it was cool for you guys to see me build these from start to finish and see every iteration of the way through it. Um, if you did find that cool, please remember to like and subscribe because that's how I know you found it cool, and I wanna make a lot more 
project documentation videos. Um, so if like this is something you're actually into, uh, definitely let me know because I want to do more. If you're curious to learn more about any of the Max MSP code that I showcase in this video, I didn't really go over it in this video, but subscribe to my Patreon where I will be uploading a very in-depth tutorial exactly on the code of this project and how that actually works if you're curious about the educational content. Um, and that's it. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.